Welcome everyone to another Hearts of Iron 4 mod spotlight. This time we're going to have, as you can already see from the date, a World War 1 conversion mod that's already come, uh, just, just come out of the Steam Workshop. It's called the War to End All Wars, and it's of course an alpha, so sort of not, do not expect too much out of it. However, there's already a little bit of uh, good stuff in there already. Uh, mainly uh, the fact that uh, the sort of European political situation is pretty accurate, well, I mean, as accurate as they could have made it, and pretty much the borders of the countries already are accurate. Uh, in the East, uh, there's also, well, obviously this is 1910, before the Xinhai Revolution in China, so there's still the Qing Empire going there. I'm not really sure what's going to happen with it uh, later on when the events start to get released. The Middle East has already uh, changed a little bit. As you can see, there's a few. There's no Saudi Arabia uh, because it's going to have to be sort of conquered by Najd, and uh, some of that is already under, well, still under the control of the Ottoman Empire, as is going to be the battleground of the Arab Revolt. In case uh, that sort of chain of events is added to the mod later on, uh, there's also the Senussi, which are essentially uh, well, it's really weird because from what I know about them. They were uh, supposedly some like pro-Ottoman rebels against the occupation of Italy, of Libya. Uh, of course, this is 1910, so um, the occupation of Libya by Italy still hasn't happened. So we will see uh, if there's something that's released for that. Now, in terms of national focuses, which is sort of the bane, at least for now, of all these uh, newly uh, released total conversions, there's a couple of very bare-bones ones for Austria-Hungary and the uh, Ottomans. Interestingly enough, they've been focusing on the Central Powers a lot. Um, I noticed because the only one that's really fully fledged out is the German one, and it's pretty damn good. I mean, look at this. This is already pretty uh, extensive. And there's quite a few interesting things. Uh, for example, um, there is a, actually a, um, a focus that uh, sort of allows you to go against Austria-Hungary and go attack them, which is pretty interesting. Uh, then there is the historical route, and there's actually one pretty cool one which gives uh, the Russian Empire communist support. I mean, it's like obviously meant to represent how they kind of allowed Genin to travel from Switzerland over to Russia by train through their territory, but still, it's a really uh, weird thing. Now, uh, Belgium actually has a pretty cool trait, Cordon Fox, which is interesting because that's pretty much what Belgium was in World War One. And the British still have their um, standard focus tree from Hearts of Iron uh, 4, which means that they're probably it's probably not going to be too functional. I mean, a lot of the foci do seem to work. I mean, the uh, certainly the Fortify, the Empire ones are pretty much the same. However, a few ones are probably pretty different and uh, still don't really work that well in the context of World War One, so we'll have to wait for them to actually uh, work on it and release a British focus tree. However, right now they appear to be, uh, at least from their mod page, they appear to be working on getting an American focus tree research uh, right of release, uh, and also the uh, a little bit of a start to the tech uh, tree sort of rebalancing and reworking that they're gonna do. Looks like land doctrines were already kind of reworked. Doctrines of World War One. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, that's really awesome, actually. I did not know that. So that's actually the first mod I've seen that focused on <laughs> reworking land doctrines before anything else, which is actually probably the most important thing to rework to get a uh, sort of representation of the warfare done correctly. So actually, before we do anything else, let's actually just look at it. Uh, First World War originated yet unknown, frightening, effective killing methods that have since affected the civilian population. Civil warfare. So it looks like there's a lot of recruitable population, grand battle plan, propaganda, heroism, supply logistics, post service. Okay, that's cool. Planned offensive, grand offensive. Okay, attrition, mass assault. So there's a lot of tactics get to get um, sort of researched. It looks a little small, but I can definitely understand why it is small. Now, Oberste Heerslightung, Heerslightung, uh, apologize for my German, 
seems to be the German one. Yeah, Auftragstaktik uh, basically means mission tactics, which is, or rather, objective tactics, which is what the German uh, general staff practiced, or rather, the German officer corps should be. Uh, shock troops, assault troops. So, this is a little bit more towards sort of attacking and breaking, it seems. Whereas the uh, sort of breaking part of this one seems to be out here. And wait. So you can actually research all of these. Okay. Except the Grand Grand Quartier General. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So you have the Doctrinal World War I. And then you can either have the French one, the Grand Quartier General. Apologies for my French as well. Or the Oberste Heersleitung. Which is the German one. Okay, I, I like that. I really like that, actually. Uh, looks like this is a little bit more focused on getting, getting armored troops. Yeah, looks like it's more for armored troops. And also increases, or rather decreases division training time. So a pretty big hit to national unity, though. I'm not sure that's very uh, sort of effective. And clearly this one is the one that's not being uh, completed first. This one is going to be the one that's going to be sort of finished earlier because uh, I'm guessing that the amount of text uh, discrepancy means that there's going to be a little bit more added to um, the grand headquarters. So that's really weird. The long time for a planned offensive attacking plans of the general. Okay, I'm not sure what that English is supposed to mean, but it's definitely a sort of Obviously, supposed to represent that uh, the French at the beginning of World War One were trying to sort of reclaim Alsace Lorraine over here, which is what uh, I believe is trying to say because there's sort of revanchism and there's so I'm guessing that's what it means. And then uh, so they were trying to sort of plan for a grand offensive over here, which obviously failed completely at the start of the war, and sort of plan it played into the fears of the Germans that or the plan of the Germans to attack through Belgium. Without going further into what happened next, that's pretty much the reason why the Germans were able to push so much into France at the start in 1914. However, it's still pretty cool, and as you can see, these, uh, the research time for these um, is pretty high. It's actually three times, it looks like, the amount... Eh, not exactly three... No, no, actually three times the amount that uh, it takes to research a normal doctrine, which is interesting. So that's... Pretty nice, actually. That's innovative. I've never seen that before. Uh, the economy is pretty much the same. I'm not actually sure. Let's actually switch to Germany to see if they have changed the amount of factories that a few countries have. Possibly. Uh, Germany does have quite a lot of factories. I'm going to say actually see Italy. It uh, looks to be just pretty much the same. So let's go to... Um, I'm not sure what the Ottomans are, so let's just go to Observe Mode and check out the Ottomans. They have 41. Eh, actually, <laughs> I've started the game. So the Ottomans may actually have more than they had in the standard game. Yeah, it's possible, because not a lot of those are from the extra territories that they have, so I'm guessing it's actually mostly just a buff to the Ottomans, because in the standard game, Turkey has like 20. At maximum, I feel like it's got like 3 or 4 military and 16 civilian factories. Not exactly sure. Let's check out the resources. Have they changed any of the resources? No, it looks to be the same, but that's fine. I mean, Chromium, I don't... Just don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure that Chromium wasn't used in the war industry in World War I, but meh. Uh, can't really complain about that. And yeah, so uh, the main focus is for the uh, modding team from what they say on their Steam page is going to be the infantry tech tree. Uh, the addition of gas is something that they're working on, uh, but that's going to be pretty hard to do uh, by their own admission, so it's going to have to wait a little bit. Uh, the orders of battle seem to be uh, sort of placeholder -y, especially the names of the units. Uh, for example, all these uh, have the same name, and especially the British, there's a lot of them that have the same name, and all these have the same name. Uh, probably the Germans as well. Let's actually check it out. Uh, yep, looks like they uh, are still going to be uh, working on the Order of Battle. It's a little bit of a placeholder, though it definitely works. Uh, the Naval Orders of Battle seems like 
they're still working on that because these are definitely World War II ones. However, for uh, for example, England, that's not going to be too much of an issue because they've already got a pretty huge fleet, despite the fact that it's not the humongous Royal Navy of World War One, which was actually much bigger than the one in World War II uh, by number of ships. And I believe they're also going to be working on Russia soon enough, though. They haven't really said anything about that. I'm guessing that's going to be next on the list for them. And so I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you will enjoy this mod, even though it's still not exactly in a playable state. It's probably going to be in a playable state soon enough when the next updates come out. So I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you'll try the mod. Of course, links will be in the description. All the credit goes to the modders. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.